Haven't we all felt the urge to press down on our accelerator on an open stretch of highway as we hear the squealing racket of our engine as we whir through the road? Well, this same spirit was culminated in 1909 when a man on the Indianapolis horse racetrack decided to use a new invention, the automobile instead of horses, for a race. And thus motorsport, the revolutionary idea that it is, was born. Motorsport has been culminated in all areas of the world, Rallycross in Britain, NASCAR and Daytona in the US, and the legendary 24 Hours of Le Mans in France. Motorsport went through its hiatus in the 1960s and 70s, where it became immensely popular among an entire generation. The invention of the car fascinated people, and it became a passion for most people all over the world. I can remember the utter joy I felt when I raced around my home in little go-karts and built Lego cars. Although there is room for concern in today's modern motorsport, fans have been in fact racing away from the sport rather than going to it. This is due to a variety of reasons. The sport today is over-commercialized and it feels shallow. It's all about sponsorships, viewership numbers and just telecasting rights. The drivers are almost obsolete and races are entirely dependent on the technology and the capability of the manufacturer. Drivers are half the pillar of the holy combination of man and machine. And the strong personalities of the drivers of yesteryear are no longer adored and drivers are shunned from having opinions due to politically correct culture. Racing is also going through drivers becoming obsolete. There is no room for improvement if half the combination is lost. Cars are also becoming drab and dull. Today's average consumer believes that the cars are fast only for the super rich and that the manufacturers are, igno are ignoring them. Although we have a large variety of manufacturers today and cars have technologically never been better than, ev than before. The average customer feels lost. A man found joy in driving a car that had winds under its bonnet. But the modern consumer doesn't care about if their car model has won racing. Thus, manufacturers question the economic viability of racing. Older fans also blame the generation gap. They believe the youth doesn't think the car is anything more than a means of transport, a social status symbol, or a way to flex their affluence. The largest and biggest factor for the dying of modern motorsport is the discouragement of the internal combustion engine due to environmental factors and rarity of natural resources like oil and petrol, which are getting increasingly expensive and unaffordable. The squeaking roar we hear in the internal combustion engine is soon to go silent as there's a slow and steady shift towards the electronic motor in the automobile industry. Although the future may look dab, there's certainly room for improvement. New sports like Formula E incorporate audience interaction and have been gaining traction in the, uh, in the auto world. Electronic motors are not all bad. The internal combustion engine, which loses power in heat and sound, is made up by the unheard of torque displacement by electronic motors. The future is unknown, but all I know is I will always love the smell of burning rubber. Thank you.